do the pledge? No. I'm going to skip well, the pledge. Okay. All right. All right. So basically, guys, what we're going to talk about a little bit is, is where we're at with the insurance. I'm going to let Darren talk to you about the quotes that we've received. Um, at first conversation with the DPI insurance section, they uh, informed us that we were to immediately start beginning to, to stop the mold and mildew growth that is our most common problem, most expensive problem. And so they, they in, encouraged us to do that. And again, last night on another call. And so that's what we've been doing is, is pulling uh, an emergency situation as far as one bid and getting contractors out to the schools. Uh, the larger schools where shelters were at, and there's a lot of, a lot of moisture and a lot of uh, roof damage as far as water leaking through. Uh, through the wind and everything. Uh, Darren is just now getting, uh, like Kate Fear, a quote back on that. So he's got best numbers right at this point. Uh, but these are not uh, contracts and things like that. But we just want to give you an update on where we're at. All right, board members, uh, uh, the good news, uh, the uh, Heidi Trask High School, West Pender, Burgall Elementary, Malthus, both surf cities, and the new Pender Lee School will probably are, are okay. Uh, Pender High School is is okay, uh, except uh, because it had animal shelter, we're going to have to have a 24-hour delay once we get all the people out for uh, to spray for fleas. Uh, uh, Pender Early College High School, Cape Fear says they're good to go. Uh, Burgall Middle School, we're finishing up some things on it. Uh, and it, it'll be ready to go. Topsville High School, we, we have to do just a cafeteria and a kitchen. Um, schools that are not ready at this point in time are, are South Topsville, uh, both Cape Fears, North Topsville, Rocky Point, uh, Topsville Elementary and Topsville Middle. Uh, the, the, obviously you can say the East Side schools got hit pretty hard. Um, as far as mold abatement and cleanup goes, um, we are the we, we started at Cape at South Topsail and Cape Fear. Both of those schools, both of those sites have started. They were the worst ones. Um, for the Cape Fear schools, it's one million uh, ninety-nine thousand dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry. You're talking just about mold abatement and cleanup? Yes, mold abatement and cleanup. Um, okay. All right. Say that again then. All right, South Topsail uh, Elementary School, the estimate on it is uh, $1,440,000. The estimate on the Cape Fear Schools is $1,099,973. Um, what, what is that again? One zero nine 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 seven three zero zero. Yeah. The estimate for in worst case scenario for uh, for North Topsail is one million eighty thousand dollars. Uh, worst case scenario for Topsail Elementary School is one million one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. Or I'm sorry, that was Topsail Elementary School, one million one hundred twenty-five. Uh, Topsail Middle, one million two hundred seventy-five. And Topsail High School, one, one, one two seventy-five. One two seventy-five. Yes, sir. And um, uh, Dr. Hill just uh, took a picture of my notes and texted it to you guys. Um, clean up on Topsail High School, $1,980,000. The Topsail schools, that, that is a worst case scenario. They haven't fully assessed those schools yet. I do not expect those numbers to be anywhere near that high once they're done uh, with the assessment, but they have to bring in an industrial hygienist to certify the building. Uh, so, so the estimates are based on square footage of the entire uh, uh, building and every, everything and all the contents in it. So those are absolutely very, very high estimates. Uh, they should come down, but I don't know by how much. 